your girl was finally able to get her living room to get her hunty okay yes she was able to get it together so y'all it's been a long time coming i know i've been saying it so many times in all my vlogs i'm gonna redecorate i'm gonna redecorate but y'all know it takes money <laughs> to redecorate so i had to make do what i had to make do with so finally able was able to get my living room together um what you are watching right now is the process leading up to me getting my living room together so i said you know what why not let me show y'all uh what i currently got with it you know tell y'all where i current where i had got the things that i currently got right now um in my living room and with the updated stuff you know where i went and got so here's the overview of my living room Oh, my baby noodle there go baby amir all right y'all so i'm gonna start on this wall here so with these couches these couches has been in our family for so long y'all like four flats on the cadillac okay it's time for these babies to go we didn't try to save these babies we didn't try to put uh get throw little throw blankets or whatever no when you got a dog and you got kids it's it's i'm telling you it, it, it was a struggle but they served a purpose now these boys got to bounce um these wall arts right here these canvases if y'all believe it or not i got these canvases and they're identical i got these canvases from family dollar yes i know what y'all probably thinking this girl is cheap but you know what i don't even care about that these mugs was eight dollars and if you look on this wall it go with Mm, it kind of go with those okay so y'all get the idea i got these from ikea okay i'm still keeping those these curtains yes they came from walmart don't sleep on walmart um these pillows i got these pillows from walmart too i think this was like five dollars and i got these from the at home store i'm not for sure if you guys got that at wherever you are located but we have an at home store here that's where i got those pillows from got this bookshelf yes it's a bookshelf cubicle bookshelf we decided to turn this boy into a tv stand as you can see for this wall here i got these vases at dollar tree sure did and these little plant things whatever you call it <laughs> can't think of them uh, the actual name for them but i got those at the dollar tree too so what with these with two different colors and these vases i spent under ten dollars Got these vases right here at Marshall's. They was about $5 a piece. And they are really, really nice. So I'm definitely keeping these in my living room. I'm not going to even hold you guys up. I don't care what y'all guys say. Yes, your girl like to shop on a budget. I don't believe in spending hundreds and hundreds of dollars for things that I can either create on my own or get, you know, at a discounted price. These candles that I got on my coffee table, if you go to Hobby Lobby or Michael's or wherever you know you decide you want to go, these candles cost a lot of money. I found a tutorial on YouTube. I found a tutorial and I did these on my own. I got these candles from Walmart for a set of three. I paid about $5 for a set of three of these. And I went ahead and I'm not going to talk too much on about that. But these candles by just basically was $3. And I did what I had to do. And I made them. So I'm keeping these for sure. I'm not going to get rid of those. And then of course for our rug. Marcus got this. Because y'all know he work at Walmart. So he got this rug. Um, I'm thinking about getting another rug. I'm not for sure yet. I'm still debating if I'm going to get another rug, depending on how the couch looks uh, once it gets here. So, mm, we shall see. With these curtains, like I said, I got these curtains from Walmart. So, I don't know what I'm going to do with these curtains. But I'm definitely getting some updated pillows. That's definitely going to be um, something that I do. And then, of course depending on the theme that I'm going for. I don't know how these canvases is gonna work. So that's why I'm in the process. You know, I'm just looking at different things. Our couches, our couch will be delivered um, 
tomorrow morning so you guys will see that i got these end tables yes i got these at walmart as well and these were about ten dollars ten to twelve dollars a piece so got those my little um wax warmer whatever and i haven't decided yet what i'm gonna do with the lamps i i'm still still working that out so and what i just said i haven't really paid a lot for much that's in my living room um the most that i pay for is my tv and these couches when we got them so like i said they serve their purpose it's time for these boys to bounce they got to get up out of here it's time for them to go okay depending on um when the people get here the furniture people get here and set my couches up the new ones that i got um i don't know we shall we shall see so definitely stay tuned in if y'all want to see how i actually put everything together so y'all can get the finishing look all right you guys morning y'all so 6 23 but but has finally decided to sleep a little bit longer throughout the night yes thank god Oh, when I tell y'all, it's been a struggle getting him to try to sleep throughout the night. But he has finally slept a little bit longer. Today is Wednesday, May 2nd. I am about to get the kids up. It's 623. I'm about to get the kids up so they can get ready for school. And then... I got to um, take Bubba to his doctor's appointment to get checked up on. And what else I got to do? Oh, and my couch is being delivered today. So, I'm super excited about that. I'm hoping that everybody is getting up and having a great start today morning. Oh, my God. I am so excited. I can't believe my Bubba has slept longer throughout the night. Oh. Yes. Whew. Yes. <laughs> All right, y'all. I'll be back. Noodle. <laughs> Trying to get up. Kimani. Trying to get up. MJ. MJ. Time to get up. Kimani. 630. Let's go. Alright, so I'm on my way to drop them off real quick. Good night. Mark is breaking down these couches. Come on. I ain't got on still. Got on my little pajamas. Don't judge me. Right up the street, so yes, girl still got her hair wrapped up. Got on my pajamas. Why would they part? Right, mm. park too dog on clothes. <sighs> so yeah, on my way to drop them off to school. Got to come back, hop in the shower. So I can get um, a mirror ready so we can take him to get his uh, checkup. Take y'all along with that. He has to go back to the urologist. So we had got him circumcised um, after, y'all know, and I'll discuss that later as to why we waited until um, we got home. Well, not till we got home, but basically we did it. We didn't. We didn't um, let him get circumcised in the hospital, and I will tell you guys why a little bit later as to why we decided to do that. Um, so I know some people is going to be wondering why. Even the urologist that we went to to get it done was like, why did you know the hospitals do it? And we got our reasons. So. But yeah, so I will be back in a second once I get them to school.
so me and Marcus are on our way to take Amir back to the doctor um, to get checkup on his what is he? Circumcision. I'm she can't say nothing, y'all. She will not pronounce that word right. Y'all know his <laughs> his little pecker. <laughs> Circumcision. <laughs> yeah, what he said. <laughs> so, what is he doing? The reason why we went, well, the reason why we waited for him to get a circumcision, we went to, uh, it was a biblical route. Um, in the Bible, it's a custom for uh, Hebrew children to get circumcised eight days after birth. Uh, and that's what we were shooting for. So that was the reason why we did it. Um, but, you know, it was for belief purposes. So to each his own, everybody had their own belief, but uh, it was something that we we wanted to do. So that's the reason why. So in case y'all come into my comments asking, my lovely husband here went ahead and explained that for y'all. So yeah, we on our way to get that um, get that looked at, and then after that, I'm gonna stop at the at home store and see if they got some other like curtains and things like that, and then y'all will get a chance to see what that couch is looking like. My little bubba ain't sleeping good. You ain't even roll the window up. Ah, my heel hurt. Just as quick as we got here, now we done. That drive, and it's not no 10 minute drive, okay? But he's good to go, so, which I know he was, but, you know. His circumcision. Yeah, that. His little pecker is healed up. It's just as beautiful as daddy. Don't, before, um... The furniture people come because I didn't get a chance to pump, and I don't mind breastfeeding in public, but uh, I'm still, you know, breastfeeding in public is kind of weird. It, it's I ain't gonna say it's uncomfortable. I just don't like people looking at me. So, oh my gosh, she's breastfeeding. So you know, it's so unhuman. I don't know yet, but. Hold on, let me put my seatbelt on. So, where are we on our way back home, bae? Uh, yeah, I gotta finish getting ready for that furniture. And I wanna make me a, a omelet. So we've been eating clean for the last two and a half weeks now. That's another thing that I'm gonna, you know, take y'all on that journey. Trying to improve my girlish figure. Yo, what? My girlish figure. I'm trying to improve my girlish figure. <laughs> Whatever. But yeah, we are, you know, working on our health. That's very important because we are, you know, of course we are in our 30s, but you don't want to be up in your, you know, late 50s and things like that having health issues. So while we're still young we are definitely making sure that we're eating good exercise and things like that so we could be around for our children definitely we've got to be around for them um so yeah in a quarter mile turn right so, on yeah, east has to put his Road. gps on to get us back home because the last time we came out here you know he was getting turned around as for me you know <laughs> It don't take me one time to get to a location. I know how to get back home. Turn right onto East Big Beaver Road. Yeah, whatever. Mm -hmm. All right, you guys. I'll talk to you a little bit later.
right, y'all. So there y'all have it. I finally, finally got my couch set and I am loving it, okay? I know it's corny, but I'm loving it. So without further ado, let me go ahead and quit rambling because I know I'm bad at doing that. Go ahead and show y'all the changes that I did make. Keep in mind, though, I am still in the process of doing just a couple of more things because I was not able to get cer certain things that I really was trying to get. So, but nonetheless, this is what so I, got I decided so to get another little end table from Walmart. These were, this was about $11. So if you do want to get one, you can get, get it from Walmart or either Target, whichever one, they both sell them. Yes, I decided to keep my wall art. I was going to change it up, but I said, you know what? Why go, why why do all that? Why, why be all extra trying to just spend money just to be spending money? So I decided to keep this wall art because it actually goes with the couch. If you can look and see, it actually goes with it. So I decided to keep the wall art. Yes, I decided to keep these pillows as well. The only thing that I bought um, so far to go with this living room set is I got these two pillows, which I got these at the at-home store. So, I got a brown one. I got a lot, like a multi-color one. Um, the stitching in the couch is a taupe color. So, what I decided to do was to I got rid of the inner curtains. And I got these um, two panels. And this is a taupe color. So, for a pack of two they were about ten dollars at walmart so i got that there and then also the drapery the sheer these are sheer i know y'all probably can't tell on the camera but these uh two curtains that's draping across each other are sheer and they were four dollars a piece and i got that at walmart for these drawers that i got to go in our tv stand cubicle tv stand whatever you want to call it Normally, these are eight. No, I'm sorry, not eight dollars, but these are normally five to six dollars because it's um, the brand is Better Homes. So, when I got to Walmart tonight, I was shocked because, like I said, these are worth about six dollars per drawer, but they had them on clearance for two dollars. So, this is a red and it go it matches perfectly with my couch. So I got these and I only spent $8 for four of them. What I'm going to do next is to switch out these lamps. Since this is day three, because I've been searching high and low for lamps, um, I'm just going to try another one more store. And then if that store doesn't have it, then I'm going to go right back to the at-home store and get the lamps that I did see. Um, now that I'm looking at the living room, I believe they will go perfectly in here but i'm just going to try one more store so yeah basically y'all those lamps are just going to have to do for now i'm gonna try another store and that's just going to be it because i'm not about to just be out here searching high and low for another week for some doggone lamps but i am tired of these lampshades because they look old so hopefully i can get some different lamps i don't know but that's what I have so far. Like I said, I've never been a big person as far as being into like red couches. But I figured, you know, we're going to be here another year in this house. Why not just go out and just step out there and brighten up the living room a little bit. And even though it's late at night for me recording this video, during the day, it does lighten up the living room a lot. So I am happy that you know, we decided to get this set. So we purchased this at Value City Furniture and I definitely, I like it. The most red that I've ever, ever done in any place that we stayed in is what you see so far on my table here. And then of course the vases in the back. So that's pretty much it, but I'm liking it and I'm, I'm liking it. I'm ready to have some company come over and, you know, show off my little living room and look at my little coordination skills, you know. So definitely drop them comments below if y'all like it so far. I still got a couple more things to go, but hey, this is what I'm working with. It took time to put all this together. It, it takes time because you got to have money for it. And like I tell anybody on my channel, I'm being straight up. I don't have it like that. So... If it takes me two to three weeks to do something, 
because of making sure I have the funds to do it, then hey, so be it. That's what it is. But there's nothing in my house that's super expensive besides our electronics. Everything in my living room was for a good price. So let me know what y'all think so far. Um, but that's pretty much all I got for you guys. Um, shout out to two more subscribers that I just gained. I appreciate you guys hitting that subscribe button. Make sure you like my video, comment, because I do comment back to everybody that talks to me. And make sure, like I tell everybody on all my vlogs, to tell a friend, to tell a friend, to tell their friend, to go ahead and step over, come over and look, take a look at Everything K's channel. So that's all that I have. I will talk to you guys in another video.